What's up, YouTube? Keeping it a Benji, and I'm getting back with y'all. Now, we pretty much covering, like the last two videos we dropped with the whole WAC 100, speaking on X4 not signing with him and whatever. And then, you know, obviously we spoke on X4 responding a little bit, you know, to WAC 100. And now we got WAC 100 pretty much breaking down everything that X4 said in the response. You know, about mentioning buffets, talking about they not enemies, and so on. So, you know, let's dive in. Shout out to the Dice crew. I watched like two minutes of it. It was getting good. And then, you know, I said, I need to do this with y'all. You know, I'm still kind of new to this. So, sometimes I just be doing my one-two, just being regularly, you know, educated or entertained about stuff. And I be forgetting, like... I need to be just, you know, turn it into content. <laughs> so, you know, that's just a little small explanation to y'all. Why I always be saying, like, I start watching something and then I, do I dive back in and come over here and react with y'all about it. So, yeah, man, let's cover this. I'm going to keep it a Benji in the comments. Y'all keep it a Benji in the, um, my bad. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a Benji in the reaction. Y'all keep it a Benji for me in the comments. Let's rock. I won't do no business with him, right? He got in his ear. You heard what Cuz said? Cuz said, you ain't your own man. No, what I said is, I don't like to sign artists that's tied up in a whole lot of shit. And then, unfortunately, you had 600, Pee Wee, and d -Jack. Them three people that's already in front of you. It's too much going on. And then ain't no telling who else is running around out there. So, you know, I don't want to do what I didn't like that was dumb. Why you attack Blueface? What'd he do to you? That lets you know you got some hate there. And you know, that's a great point. Because I was wondering that myself, right? And I was going to really just do a whole separate video about that. But that's true. Like... Wack brought up Blueface and everybody else, Ray J, the game, and so on. However, Blueface didn't bring up you. He didn't bring up X4. So it was not recalled. Like, it was no reason for him to just go down the path he went to disrespect Blueface. And, you know, since Blueface being in this public eye, Blueface ain't did nothing but be stand up. I'm not saying everybody got to agree with everything Blueface do, but since he been in this public eye, he be doing some stand-up stuff. I'm not trying to glorify or brag about, you know, catching cases or doing this or doing anything that people might view as a crime or whatever. But when you say, you know, it's all about comparing people supposed to be coming from where they come from and they supposed to really be from where they from and supposed to be more street than the next in any situation... We just got to keep shit a Benji. And I'm not taking away from anything that x or anybody else do that don't meet the public eye. But we can only bash a person if, you know, that's the continuously thing that they do. Like the wrong stuff or the goofy stuff, the lame stuff, the clown. And yeah, I seen certain stuff to where it's like Blueface was definitely trying to figure out who he had was trying to figure out in high school, like who he was going to be in life and all that. I see that and get that. You know what I mean? People come from different backgrounds and stuff like that. But my thing is, is, you know, when you bash out Blueface, you also insulting you insulting the schoolyards that rock with him, you know, that take him serious and tell people that he really a homie. So when you say, oh, he's a goofy, nerd, emo, whatever, all kind of stuff, then now what you saying about the person that's vouching for him? So it was really just worse. It, it was not even worth it. And then also the type of music that Blueface do and the type of music that X4 do, I feel like, uh, and then, you know, obviously X4 had the type of WAC 100. I feel like that song or that collab was going to be in the works sooner than later and you know a blue face sound and an x4 sound you know that's that you know that's that like that la sound so i'm pretty much sure that was gonna be great but you pretty much ruined that part 
So, you know, you kind of like insulted some people on the street end and insulted some people on the music end for no reason when all you have to do is just speak on whack personally, like about the contract and how you felt about the contract, leave other people names and other people gangs out of it, and that would have been wiser. Not saying that uh, X foe regrets or don't stand on what he originally said. Or neither do I have to say he has to need Blueface musically or be afraid of Blueface or anybody else in the streets. I'm just giving out some pointers and this can be took in generally for anybody that got the comprehension that know how to digest this. You feel me? Because it's some, some wise words. You know, uh, he voluntarily sent me his new number about a week or two ago. Shit, I... Like you did that. I hit the nigga and said, yo, I spoke on your name on no jumper, drop something, let him hear, you know, give him something to listen to. He missing the boat. But when you hit a nigga with the truth, they always get emotional. That truth make a nigga emotional. That's all that, then what I, then what's crazy is, when I reached back to the people that brought him around me, they ain't fucking with him. So, you know, who am I? The actual photos that brought him, you know, had him at the studio that night. And you know what's crazy is, these youngsters don't get it. He said, you for Paru, we don't beef. I can't respond to shit like that. Yo. I probably been from my neighborhood long he been living. Nigga, just cause a nigga ain't your immediate. So you got different kind of enemies. You got enemies that just the politics say we enemies. Right? Crips, bloods, period. Right? That's just what that is. Right? And then you got your worst enemies, the ones you feud with, the niggas on the next block around the corner, whatever that may be. Then you got your distant enemies. Niggas that, when y'all was at the skating ring on the other side of town, and they from Long Beach, and you from over here, and a fight happened, they killed the homie, right? Then you got your internal enemies. Enemies that's from your neighborhood you don't get along with. Y'all from the same set. You got all type of different variants of enemies. So for him to say, well, yeah, you pulled up by yourself, but I mean, you know, it was just neighborhood crips in there. We don't beef with y'all. Nigga, I'm getting into it with one of y'all most reputable neighborhood crips, nigga. How about that? Let's factor all these factors in. Right? They don't look at that. They don't look. And see, I really love that whack broke that down. And I agree with everything he said. Because if you come from these streets, then when he broke down which type of enemies you can have, he was right on the nose with that. And also, it go back to what I was saying. Now you got x folk making his own gang sound soft, which I'm not saying that they are. But you said some stuff like they not enemies and this, that, and the third. And now you got a person like Wack doubling back telling you that one of your main factors is an enemy to him at one one at one point of time or now however he trying to go down the path and he also broke it down like i broke it down in the video just on the whole crip and down mood situation so you got to be mindful on what you be saying that's why I said it's no difference from the 40s and the Compton Crips when it comes to a Pacquama Pyro blood, man. If a person wants to trip off the colors, anybody can do that. But as far as the direct beef, it's no direct beef with no Pacquama Pyro's in the Compton Crip and no 40s and no Pacquama Pyro's. So, you know... I don't know, man, but you got to get a hold of yourself. You can't just be spitting stuff out there because then you got people doubling back and it just make you and yours look weak. And I'm not saying that's what X4 and his team is, but, you know, he put his people on this stage. It's back up because he's a kid. He ain't been nowhere. He don't understand what that meant for me to pull up for him and, you know, to just her respect. Because everything about that said I wasn't supposed to be there. 
politics of what's going on the street. And, and you know, when I keep saying dangerous and stuff like that in the comments or anything else, I'm saying just, you know, when you get invited somewhere, it's not dangerous. Like, even though you got to watch the setups and the back doors. But overall, you know, like Wax said, you have internal problems. So pulling up to your own hood events or anything, you know, allies or whatever, it's all really dangerous. No money on the table. It wasn't a schedule. And I really had other shit to do. But he figured out. Because just because you got signed somewhere don't mean shit. If you ain't got nobody to guide you to what you need to be doing, supposed to do, you're going to be right on that shelf. Honestly, I think you put light on a nigga because I, didn't none of us know who the fuck that, that nigga was. No, nobody paying that nigga no attention. But he ain't gonna say that. He gonna say he already had motion. I don't know who the fuck he was until you did that shit for him, Black. I don't give a fuck. Was. I didn't know who he was until you made that and did that, put that on your live that you could put him on the phone with fucking uh, Bird. I didn't know nothing about yeah, him. I ain't nobody. Not either. one fucking. No. And, you know, I pretty much said that in my video, too, in one of the ones I dropped. And, you know, again, that's not to take away from x Folk, But what made me get more familiar with him and take him more serious, like, oh, he finna be a, one of these rappers that's finna lead the New West, was whack. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't care how great you are, you could just still be a great, like, a, 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 a real street dude that just rap. Or a get money type of guy who rap. You know, it's certain stuff that you got to cross or align yourself with for a person to be like, okay, that's a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to reach certain levels because a lot of people got hit songs that's like underground, local, however you flip it. People have a buzz or they just turn. Just like you got people that's like stupid, famous and got clout that don't even rap. But they be getting interviews and stuff like that. They popular from the streets and stuff like that. So I'm just saying, like, I feel like the whole whack stuff took it from x Fold being a real Rolling 40 Crip nigga out the streets. And then that could rap. And then start. And when whack got with him, that made it go from there to being like, that's the nigga who do rap. And he from the 40s. You get what I'm saying? Like, okay, he's a rapper. Like, you could respect that. If people understand that, I'm sure y'all do. Hey, I think uh, up well, counting the Then I feel. Then that's when I knew the name. One Put a one in the chat if y'all didn't know that. If y'all don't know who the fuck we talking about. Put a two in the chat if y'all do. Let's see, if the, let's see if the people know who the fuck he is. I know they don't. Never one heard. Shit. Never heard of that motherfucker until Wax said his name. Give a fuck what 600 did for him. I never heard of him until Wax said his name. Who are we talking about? X4? Exactly. Shit, Who came like looking for extras. I'm sure y'all familiar with Fo Extra right now. Like Fo Extra came out the gate, got the interview, said a, first, said a few things about Jack 5 and whatnot. And, you know, he been, he necking that. You know, people been looking for him in the L.A. streets just as well as they looking for x Fo and kind of like Crip Man. And Fo Extras, I don't think he even dropped the song or do anything like that. So he's just like a guy who's popular. I would have knew being well, I, I, I never heard about it. I, first time I heard about him was here. I don't know. Don't nobody know that nigga. That's a fact, Inc. A couple of people that know who he is, but don't nobody know who the fuck he is. The people that do know who he is, y'all only know him because of whack. Y'all didn't know him before. Exactly. I, I just heard about him on the Hunter stage. I've never seen him in my other with him at all. Niggas ain't know that nigga until whack did what he did. Nah, I still don't know that nigga. That nigga, <laughs> that nigga ain't shit.